we want to solve the quadratic equation 5x squared plus 40x plus 207 equals zero using the quadratic formula. However, on this example, we're only asked to find the approximate solutions where we write the answers in approximate form rounded to three decimal places, which means you don't have to simplify the square root. We can convert to a decimal and round to three decimal places. Let's go ahead and set this up on the next slide. The first step is to identify the values of a, b, and c, which we'll use in the quadratic formula, where a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so a is five, b is the coefficient of the x term, so b is 40, and c is the constant term, and therefore c equals 207. Though we should be careful about the signs here, if we had subtraction, we would have a negative coefficient. And now I'll perform substitution into the quadratic formula. So negative b would be negative 40, and then we have plus or minus the square root of b squared, that would be 40 squared, minus four times a, a is five, times c, c is 207, divided by two times a, which would be two times five. Now let's begin simplifying. We have negative 40 plus or minus the square root of this expression here, which is called the discriminant, all divided by 10. Let's divide with the discriminant on the calculator. So we have 40 squared minus four times five times 207, which equals negative 2,540. So notice how the discriminant is negative, so we should recognize that we'll have two complex solutions. So we have negative 40 and then plus or minus the square root of, we know we can write negative 2,540 as 2,540 times negative one divided by 10. And we know the square root of negative one is equal to i, so let's go ahead and write this as negative 40 plus or minus the square root of 2,540 i divided by 10. Now remember, we're only asked to get the decimal approximation of three decimal places. So let's go ahead and write this in the form a plus or minus b i, and then we'll get our decimal approximations. So we have x equals, we'd have negative 40 divided by 10 plus or minus the square root of 2,540 divided by 10 i. So notice how the real part simplifies nicely to negative four. And now for the imaginary number, we'll get our decimal approximation at three decimal places. So we'll have plus or minus, and now we'll find this quotient at three decimal places. So we would have the square root of 2,540, right arrow, divided by 10. Notice here, if we run to three decimal places, the eight tells us to round up, so it's going to round to 5.040. And of course, times i. Now I want to go back to the calculator one more time. This calculator does have complex mode, so if we press the mode key, notice how a plus bi is highlighted, which means if we go back to the home screen, we could have entered the square root of negative 2,540, right arrow, divided by 10. And notice in this form, it gives us a decimal approximation with the i. Now the homework does ask us to enter these in separately. So our first solution, x sub one, is going to equal negative four and then minus 5.040i. And our second solution, x sub two, will be equal to negative four plus 5.040i. So going back to the previous slide, we now have our two approximate solutions. I hope you found this helpful.